Is there ghosts in the woods? I think there's ghosts in the woods. I stepped on the twig and it made a noise, so I think it's actually ghosts making the noise. Oh no! Did you hear that? Did you hear that? There happens to be something going on. I need to change my underwear, there's ghosts in the woods. My god, there's a terrible smell around here. It's got to be the brown cloud. The brown cloud lady is the ghost who occupies this bit of land in Sutton Park. I'm really bricking myself. You see, being a medium, being a psychic, I can sense all the spirits around here. This time, in this investigation, I'm in Sutton Park. Sutton Park. And there's lots of things going on here. There's people walking dogs and stuff. There's people walking around with dogs. Clearly they're ghost hunting just like me. You see behind me there's this really scary looking tree. It's, it's like, it's like something from a movie where some blood comes out of it and there's Native Americans buried underneath. It's really scary. I'm sensing with my psychic powers that 50% of the world's population has died in this particular area. Okay, I'm gonna start channeling Henry VIII because Sutton Park, this is where I am, Sutton Coldfield Park. I'm gonna start channeling Henry VIII. Hey there, David. I'm Henry VIII, mama. Oh yeah, I'm Henry VIII. Oh. Henry VIII. Oh. <laughs> I am Henry the Eighth. Yeah, I had too many wives. I had, I had six wives. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. I'm Henry the Eighth, baby. More. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Now, now I sound a bit more like Henry the Eighth. Yeah. I sound a bit more like Henry the Eighth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, the channeling has failed. <laughs> The channeling has failed. And remember, if my information doesn't make any sense, then you've got to realise it's not because of me or because of me being a fraudster. It's because the spirit connection, the connection between me and the spirit world, was not strong as it should have been, so there's misinterpretations of information. That's why. Oh my god, I've just seen a ghost over there. See that? Oh, oh, oh no, it's, it's a gap in the trees in the distance. The gap in the trees in the distance. It's not a ghost. It's cloud behind a gap in the trees in the distance. But it's an easy mistake and I've seen many, many ghosts in that way. But it's actually a gap in the trees in the distance. And you see the white cloud and you think it's a ghost. <sighs> this is where the Sutton Coalfield ghost was said to have walked. A mysterious brown cloud as many people fled the area when there was a terrible, terrible stench. It said that they were really scared, searching for the real ghost. And suddenly there's this brown cloud as they walked through. And when they walked through, what they saw was basically a big brown cloud. So whoever was eating curry that night really saw it, you know, really killing off the Matt Etmos. My God, where then all those trees gone? It must have been the ghost. 
the ghosts must have taken down those trees and bushes which used to be around here because it's the winter and that's what ghosts do. I can feel something coming up behind me. I'm slightly scared. There's something behind me. I can sense it with my psychic, psychic telenesis. And my psychic telenesis is telling me there's something going on back there. I hope it wasn't that curry from last night. <laughs> There's something, there's something here, that I'm getting the feeling that there's a man with a camera pointing the camera at himself. Fucking hell. Whew. That was a strong connection. I wonder who that guy was. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You see, the most powerful connection you can get is to nature. And nature is in trees and dirt and leaves and, and dirt and trees. So you've got to connect to the energy to weed the spirits. And if you weed the spirits and smoke a bit of weed, you'll see lots of spirits. Yes. A very important reminder about going ghost hunting don't have a high fibre diet because it will affect you a lot. And you know what I was talking about, about the brown cloud with the, with the brown clouded lady. The brown cloud she projects about people. Well, if you're on high fibre, I think there's a connection. What the fuck is this? It's like trees. Fucking hell, it's trees. There is trees and trees, and it's all in the fucking circle. I just belched. Ugh. There's trees. There's trees over there, and there's a footpath. I think this might be a strong location for where there's ghosts, and they walk through on the pathway and they link back to when these trees uh, before these trees were planted and the reason why this path is here is because the trees themselves connected to the energy have created the trees and the spirit connection into the earth which goes back to the vikings <laughs> I've just walked out of the circle of trees because there's a woman walking her dog. She was clearly sent by the government to try and stop people from communicating with the ghosts who had secrets from our ancestors about the aliens. You know, the most important thing to remember about being a New Age spirit channel, otherwise known as a psychic spirit channel medium, is that when you come out here, there's plenty of interdimensionals, including reptilians, werewolves, vampires, and Bigfoots in the middle of fucking England. So the best thing to do is to cover yourself with an interdimensional cloak, which I call my winter coat. Oh no, there's druids here, and they're telling me they're gonna sacrifice a young girl. I'm getting coming through now, there's a spirit, and it's calling himself Osho Regnish. Osho Regnish. Oh my god, it's Osho, the interdimensional spirit now, who used to be in charge of a cult movement, the Regnish cult, and now he's coming to different dimensions to spread the idea of giving people loads of money to him, and, you know, getting people to give money to him, so he you see, can go and buy a load of Rolls Voices. Because if he can buy Rolls Voices, that's proof that he's enlightened. Did you hear that? There happens to be a girl's voice shouting out and saying, what the fuck is that guy over there doing with a camera filming himself? You see, I'm not only, see, I'm not only 
a spirit communicator channel and interdimensional communicator druid. I'm also a healer. So if any people, especially women, if any women want healing, hands-on healings, then I can always give you hands-on healings. The dimensions are opening up and I see Jesus. I've got to get strong, stronger medication, I think. I'm seeing shit. <laughs>